All right, guys. Um, my brother came up to work to drop off a package for me. Uh, I guess I'll let it be a surprise what it is. This is a hint. So let's check it out. Never really done an unboxing video before, so I'm not really good at that, but we'll just go with it. Oh yeah. Cold Steel 4 Max. Let's see what it's all about. It's a big box. Oh, fun. Wow. That's cool. Smooth. Oh, that feels amazing in the hand. <laughs> Rock solid. Can choke back on it. Wow. I like that. Razor sharp. see a size comparison what's on uh, the bottom this is the cold steel American lawman with the new uh, thin G10 and uh, this is not thin G10 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean it it's, feels great in the hand I'm so impressed with that that locks not moving them let's see if I can so it's supposed to hit right there Okay, I'm not going to try that yet. I think it needs some wearing in to drop it, but it feels like eventually it'll drop. Or maybe it needs some loosening. The fittings look nice. It's centered. Is this your most expensive knife? This is the most expensive folding knife I've ever bought. Made in the USA, uh, USA CPM 20 CV. I've never played with 20 C, uh, CPM 20 CV before, but uh, I'm sure it's a great quality still. Nice grind on it. it kind of feels like a saber grind. It doesn't really feel like a hollow grind. Beautiful G10 titanium pocket clip. I got to check out. Pocket clip feels tight. Oh uh, yeah, it looks nice in the pocket. Oh my gosh. Uh. Typical cold steel. Don't want you to lose it. Oh, uh, that feels amazing in the choke up, choked up grip. The lock is not too terribly hard to depress, but it just doesn't seem worn in enough to drop it like the American Lawman. Wow, that's a beautiful knife. You want to handle it, Austin? Yeah. I must say I like the G10 on it. Oh, it's just wiping hell. The tip. That's how... I, I've spent money on Randall knives that couldn't do that. Oh, well, a Randall knife. Uh, it was a Randall SP16, I think. Number seven, or oh, seven inch. What do you think about it, Austin? Well, I'll tell you what I told Matthew before, when he told me he bought this. Um, I like um, uh, more... Um, um, positive points or um, um, I like point driven cuts I like worn clips and um, leaf shaped blades Endoras something that uh, has more point control but this is this is pretty cool this looks like it'd be a good skinning knife hunting knife maybe a kitchen knife it, it, it looks pretty awesome how does it feel in your hand it feels good um, I was kind of expecting a uh, more peel ply G10. Um, 
I think I like the smooth better. To me, it looks classier. Yeah, I like this. I love smooth G10. And did you notice this hole right here? Yes. Yeah. yeah is that like a lanyard hole? Or supposed to put a bolt in there to keep it from opening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say um, the customs, like he puts it in a jig uh, to like shape the handles and maybe that's it. I don't know. But yeah, well. That, this is pretty epic. Comes out of the box like every knife should. And uh, I don't know if you notice this. The lock actually has jumping on every other um, um, land. Like you, on rifling, you got lands and grooves has jimping right there and right there. Yeah, I'm normally not a fan of jimping, but I really like how that looks. Yeah, and it's, it's not very aggressive. It's not aggressive at all, and it kind of adds to the industrial kind of look to it. Um, Non-skeletonized linels, but that's no big deal. I believe they're titanium. Yeah, it'd be nice if they're like anodized blue. <laughs> As you can't tell, I like blue. But yeah, that is, that is pretty sweet. Let's see, I'm just gonna, yeah, it's just not loosened up enough to do a little drop closure. Well, thank you for the knife. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll let you play with it a little bit more. Well, I really like the pocket clip, although it's too strong right now. I really love the look of that pocket clip. And I like how they didn't put a logo on it, so that's cool. Let's try some cardboard. Oh, very nice. Very good choice with the grind and how wide that, that blade is. Um, it's a good cutter. Let's see, let's try. Tip. Not bad. I mean, it's not the tough light when it comes to the tip, but I mean, you can see that worked. Um, sturdy sturdy knife i mean they have a video of this thing holding like 800 pounds no other size comparison that uh, spot is kind of my baby that's my dress self-defense knife if i want to I don't want to get in a self-defense situation, but if I'm going to carry a self-defense knife and look classy doing it, that's it. Yeah, you know, this was um, one of the most expensive folding knives made by uh, Cold Steel. And now I think this might be, I'm not sure if the XL Spot is more. I'd have to look into that, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful knives. And this uh, Spot has really served Austin well over the years. Yeah, even dropped it on concrete. <laughs> Put the spital co in there. We'll baton through this real yeah. quick. <laughs> yeah. Good looking knives. Good yeah. looking knives. Wow. All right. Well, I guess we'll end the video. Thank you for watching. And um, sorry about not making a video in a long time, but hopefully this made up for it. <laughs>